Hello. Now, as you can tell already, this is not going to be the full energetic intro, the full energetic video that you're expecting from me normally, because this is a serious matter, as you can probably see from the title, that I really want to talk about. Now, I wasn't going to upload at all, and I have a lot of videos that I could react to right now, um, but I don't feel like it's a fair thing to do, especially with everything that's going on overseas and in this country as well. I don't really feel like it's fair to take any of the attention away from everything that's happening. Now, I've already given my views on this whole situation on Facebook and Instagram and everything like that, but I feel like even on this platform, as small as my following is, I feel like if I don't say anything, then I will probably regret it. And I feel like it's a fair thing to do to put my views across on the whole situation. Now, if you have no idea what I'm referring to, you've obviously been living under a rock. Uh, what I'm referring to is all the uh, repercussions of everything that's happened in America and across the world since the murder of George Floyd. Now, this has been in headlines across the entire world. Everywhere you go, you'll see it posted somewhere, and rightfully so. Just in case any of you have been living under a rock, he was an African-American man who was accused of forging a banknote. And after seeing all the footage and even all the footage from outside the shops, it didn't seem like he was resisting arrest at all. And yet he was still put on the ground face down where an officer knelt on his neck, subsequently uh, suffocating him to death. Now, within this time, he was saying he couldn't breathe. You know, he couldn't breathe. He wasn't even offered water. And even when the paramedics came and everything, asking the officers to check his pulse, he refused. Obviously, then it got around to the point where it was way too late to do anything and he was pronounced dead. Unfortunately, this isn't an isolated incident, especially in the US. Now, I don't want to get involved in US politics because I am from the UK, uh, but something definitely needs to change. Obviously, police abuse of power in the US is a lot different to what it is in the UK because they have weapons, they have guns, and they have a lot more power than I feel like they do in this country. Now, as I've said, it isn't an isolated incident. There's been a lot of incidences between police and the African-American community, whether it was a black man putting his hand in his pocket, then got shot down even though he's reaching for ID. Or I've even seen instances of people who even had their hands up in the air and still got shot down and killed by white police officers. Now, George was not the only isolated incident I've said before. If you haven't heard already, which I'm surprised if you haven't, is uh, about Breonna Taylor. Now, in this incident, the police went to the wrong house and opened fire, and it subsequently uh, led to a black woman being shot dead in her own bed, while her husband, who shot back at police officers thinking they were intruders, then ended up getting arrested. Now, from what I gather, these police officers that were involved in the incident have not been charged. I'm not 100% sure if that's true. Luckily, the man was uh, was released uh, straight away as soon as they realised that they'd done something wrong. However, obviously, he then has to go back to a house without the woman that he loves, who he knows has been shot dead by the intruders that he tries to keep out. That is literally two stories of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor, two stories out of thousands of police brutality and racial abuse within America. Now again, you probably already know about all these sort of stories, but it's 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 hard hearing about them and learning that it's happened a lot more than the few times that we're led to believe. Now, another example which a lot less people know of than I would like to believe is the 14-year-old George Stinney. Now, this was a very, very, very long time ago where racism was at its peak. Um, I still don't believe that it's actually past its peak at all. Um, but if you don't know about this, this was a 14 year old boy who was uh, arrested on suspicion of murdering two young white girls because their bodies were found near where he lived. And because he was black, he was found guilty straight away by a jury full of white men and then was sentenced to death by electric chair. Now this boy was kept in prison for around 80 days before his execution where he didn't see his family, he didn't know what was going on. And 70 years later after his execution, he was found innocent and that's one of those things that's hard to swallow when you realize someone has been put to death for doing something that they haven't done now i'm not saying it doesn't happen to white people because it has happened to white people in the past where they've been wrongly accused wrongfully killed and it's turned out that they're innocent but that hasn't simply happened because of their skin color which in this case it was now racism is something that's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years since the uh, since the time of the slave trade where white men decided to go to a country where black men and women lived steal them from their homes and force them to work for no money now obviously it's not just america the uk was part of this as well i learned about it in history which i'm pretty sure everyone has done which makes me wonder why this sort of thing is still happening we know just how atrocious it was we know everything that happened we know how wrong it was, and yet racism, prejudice, and discrimination is still happening in this day and age, even so long after. We stole them from their own countries and brought them into ours and 
force them to work which is another thing when i don't get about people being especially racist to to black people telling them to go back to their own countries now believe it or not your country is their own country and they have just as much a right to be there as you do now it's got to that point where i actually feel disappointed and ashamed to be white i follow the black lives matter movement i never follow the all lives matter movement because again i feel like that is disgusting now i agree all lives do matter but the all lives matter movement seems to be trying to take away from the black lives matter movement and billy eilish and a couple of other people that i follow actually have said this out perfectly so i use an example from them they use an example of a, um, a set of houses and one of them is burning down so for this example imagine you've got one hose full of water which house would you spray the water on first and naturally you'd think the burning house whereas with this all lives matter why don't you spread out one hose and try and spray all three houses by that point, if the house is on fire, it doesn't get your full attention. And that house has a chance of burning down, even if there's a slight bit of water going to it. You know, you need a lot of water to put out a house fire. <laughs> now, the, the burning house is supposed to represent black lives, and the other houses are supposed to represent, you know, every other life. Black lives are within the house that's burning, and it needs our attention. It needs our attention more than everyone else's lives at the moment. Now, again, I'm not saying black lives are more important, and they're not saying that either. Black Lives Matter movement isn't saying that black lives are more important than everyone else's life. That's not the meaning behind it. They just want to matter as much as white lives do at the moment. And obviously, I'm white. I'm privileged. I know I'm privileged. I can do things without having to worry. I can go into the shop with a hoodie and not worry about getting looked at. I even saw an example recently of an interracial influencer couple um, where the man is black and the woman's white. And in this example, she has to explain a lot of the stuff that they have to do in order to not almost get caught out in a sense where even when they're jogging and they both jog they both run is she makes him run in front of her not because he runs faster even though he does run faster according to the uh, according to the post uh, but because if he was running behind her she knows for a fact someone would call the police and be like there's a black man chasing a white woman and the police would automatically think the worst and track him down and uh, arrest him for nothing. Now, I fully support and stand by Black Lives Matter. I believe they need our support now more than ever. Even in this year, 2020, years and years after racism and segregation was supposed to have been abolished, it really hasn't. In this day and age, I'm, I'm literally ashamed to be white. Now, I know I'm doing right by myself. I'm doing right by my friends and I'm doing right by the Black Lives Matter movement. I'm supporting it in every way I possibly can. But to know that there are many, many people out there that still don't support, that are still 100% racist, that believe black people don't have a place here. I just can't believe that's still a thing. Uh, I wish it would end. I wish there was something I could do to make it end. All I can do is support the movement right now. Protests have even hit the UK now, which I'm happy about. And I know there's a lot of people saying, why are they protesting in the UK? Why are they writing in the UK? It hasn't happened in the UK. It's like, that doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not country specific. Every country has racism. Every country has different races. No country is all white. No country is all black. Everyone is mixed. And racism and prejudice and discrimination happen in every country. They have the right to protest. They have the right to be angry. Considering racism should not be a thing anymore. They have a right to have their voices heard. And I fully support them. UK, Italy, Spain, Australia, wherever anyone may protest for the Black Lives Matter movement. I fully support it. Yes, black killings don't happen as often, if ever, in the UK. But it's not about the killings. It's about the meaning behind it, the racial abuse, the racial discrimination. I'm very disappointed that it's still happening. But as I said, there's not much I feel I can do apart from support the movement. And even making this video, because this is the only thing I know how to get a message out that's, you know, my way of doing so. Again, I only have a small following. Um... But if I can even get a message out to 10 people and show my support for the right side of history, then I'm going to do that. And if anyone who's on my subscriber list, anyone who's following me on anything that's still racist, that still believes black lives don't matter, that are complete white supremacists, then unfollow me, unsubscribe. I don't need you. I don't want you. Even if 
all a thousand of my subscribers turn around and I end up with 20. 20 subscribers who aren't racist, who aren't, who aren't prejudiced towards any other race. That's fine by me. I'd happily lose all my subscribers if it meant that I was doing right by the entire world. If I offend the racists out there, fine. Don't care. Fuck you. If you're racist, fuck you. This needs to stop and I'm doing my part to try and help it. If you want to do your part as well, be sure to go and support any Black Lives Matter movement you can. Donate to all the services they're using to get people out of prison that have been wrongfully imprisoned um, just from protesting or rioting. Again, these protests started peacefully. The only reason they got aggressive and started riots was simply because the police used force to stop peaceful protest. Rubber bullets are dangerous, especially when they're used at close range that they have been used at. They need to be fired at the ground, not directly at someone's face. And tear gas as well in order to clear the paths of people who are protesting peacefully. I'm not surprised riots have hit. And again, all these people saying, oh, they're just rioting now in order to loot. No, that's not the people. It's not the Black Lives Matter movement that are actually looting. A lot of the time it's white people taking advantage of the situation and looting stores and shops. But what I don't get is... Innocent people are getting hurt in this, especially the looting. Black businesses are getting looted as well. It's not just people in big businesses like Target in America. I even saw a story recently where an innocent man had his car burned in the riots when he had nothing to do with anything. He wasn't even around the time and he came back to his car being charred. Now to show support, I've seen a lot of people have set up a GoFundMe page for him as well, which is amazing to see that that has happened. I mean, it shouldn't have happened in the first place, but it's not the Black Lives Matter movement that are doing the looting because they have nothing to gain from it. Why would they go and loot shops? That would just tarnish the name of the movement. It would tarnish the name of black people in general. There's no reason for them to do it. And that's because they're not the ones doing it. I fully support the rioting and protest. They have a right to be angry, especially in America. And in England, I'm glad they're protesting. I'm glad they're having their voices heard. Now, I know this is a long video, but it had to be said. And I didn't want to upload a reaction to another music video at the moment just because I didn't want to take any attention away um, but I've said my piece again if you don't like what I've said and you're a racist just get off my channel I don't want you here thank you for watching please support Black Lives Matter as best as you can same as I've been doing um, and I shall talk to you later